I just got this in and I've been waiting for this for a minute. You already know how it is with Travis Scott merch. It takes forever. I don't know what they do is, is like they just wait until everyone makes all their orders in because they give about 24 hours and then they finally print it all out. That's probably what takes it so long. Because some I'm still waiting on some other orders too. Because you guys remember there's two drops, the highs and the lows. And I'm kind of ashamed to say that I spent about about like six hundred dollars of merch whenever the highs came out and then the lows I try to calm down a little bit but I still spend another like three to four hundred so cut the bag oh well anyway so this one I got uh, July 28th and this was I finally got it today so about two months can't remember on uh, July 28th was that the highs or was that the lows like, oh all right oh I, I basically bought everything on the site <laughs> whatever it came out i'm actually really happy about it. these are actually really really nice one thing i'll say about the travis scott merch is that their quality is not that great but this here is actually pretty freaking fire man now this is the cause t with the you know the frag and Travis Scott um, collaboration. Now this one is pretty fire. This time I got large. Last time I had like all mediums and they were like mad tight. So this time I went a size up because I wanted that more baggy look. And this is the other cause fragment design tee. Now the reason why I wanted the cause in the fragment design so bad is because I was like, yo, I know these are never gonna come back out again. And actually, these things actually resell too. So I got the danger shirt. This is actually probably my favorite one. I like this one quite a bit. This is great. And this will look great with the lows. Like, my goodness, it's like perfect with it. And I think I made a mistake, y'all. So I actually got an extra, I think they gave me an extra pair. So if anyone want these, man, the, this is the Danger T-shirt. I will let these go for basically how much I pay for plus shipping, so. And you know what? I'm actually waiting for like uh, some hoodies. And I think I, like a, some socks and stuff like that. So I'm still missing some from this first drop. And also I'm waiting for whenever the lows come out too as well. So we're going to get some more Travis Scott merch uh, uh, coming in. So what's going on with your YouTube gentlemen? Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And if you guys haven't noticed lately, man, the sneaker market right now is very, very slow right now. I said in a couple of my videos and it got me wondering. I actually was like, I've done these videos before last year. And we were kind of like in this weird timeline as it is right now because right now, price is not going, is not really going up. Price is just really, really low. Some shoes are actually sitting. Let's put this out there like, yes, resale is slowing down. Will resale ever go away? No, there's still gonna be always resale. Resale is not gonna go away anytime soon. So there's gonna be some shoes that do brick out. There's gonna be some shoes that kind of like goes, you know, like they are bricks right now and then eventually go up. That's basically how it used to be back in like 2018 and 19. I know there's probably a lot of new sneakerheads out there or some new people out there starting to get into resale. So, you know what, man? There might be some shoes out there that might go up pretty soon. So I'm just saying, I wanna make this video that has some shoes that's potentially to go up. I've done these kind of videos before. I call these this series Bricks to Resale. Right now, like I said, we're in a crazy time right now. Sneaker market right now is really, really slow, you know, but we're about to get into holiday season. And then of course, you know, some other, you know, tax season coming up. Um, there's rumors out there we might get another stimmies. You just kind of never know. Things are starting to get back in order. So I might mind you guys, I'm not telling you guys to buy all these up and spend all your money and hope these things go up and just listen to what I say. No, I'm just telling you guys what my personal opinion is. <laughs> This is just all just kind of a guess. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a sneaker guru. I'm just speaking of past experience of what I think can potentially go up and that might go up. So just don't be surprised one day you look up and you're like, oh, wow, these things are like going for mad bread and I let these go for nothing or I could have bought this for this much. So just think about something like that, okay? And also talk about some shoes that's completely bricks. I'm gonna talk about some shoes that's also like that actually was up really high and then went down and could potentially go back up. Now, these two shoes here, now, remember last year, AJ Ones was like, it's been it for the past few years. And this year, I feel like AJ Ones just haven't been really all that, doing all that great, you know? A lot of them has been kind of breaking out, but I feel like 
this colorway has potential to do some good numbers, you know, especially this one here, the Seafoam. Yes, it's a women's shoe. Usually women's shoes don't do anything crazy, but I'm just saying for these things, they're only going for like $200. These things have potential to at least do 250, maybe even 300, depending on sizes. Uh, I think even smaller sizes are actually doing better than the bigger sizes. So I'm just saying, don't sleep on sea foams. This is a great shoe. I feel like that has potential to do go, uh, do some good numbers. This one might be a little tricky. This might take a little longer for these things to go up. Um, yeah, these things have restocked like what a hundred billion times already. Like they've been on the Flex app like so many times. Like my goodness, I think it's a decent colorway. It's, you know, materials is okay, it's cool. It has a little bit of that, like that decent uh, color blocking. Uh, just sometimes that black and stuff like that just doesn't do all that crazy, but still. Yeah, these has potential to do some decent numbers. Maybe like they'll go up to like 250 if you want to hang on to them. But these things might take a while. And I think some people were expecting things to go up to like 300 by Christmas. I will slow down on, you know, expectation on these things. Now these kind of caught me by surprise. It was actually like, I, I did feel like these things could go up because these things were like literally going for anything. I was buying pairs at like 200 at one point. I was kind of like, man, let me try to get rid of these things at like 250. Now I'm seeing prices around like 260, even this size here is going for like two, uh, 280, 290, you know? So these could potentially even do even bigger numbers once holiday season hits. So that just kind of gives me hope that these could do some decent numbers too. Now, have you guys been paying attention to any of my videos? Have you guys been watching my videos that long ever? Definitely, 100%, man. Easy, no brainer. The freaking starfish. Go for big sizes though. I would recommend going for about size, maybe even like 11 and up is probably the best. You can probably maybe do get away with some 10s. Nine, you know, it used to be the money size, size seven and a half to all the way nine and a half. No longer the case anymore. It's the bigger sizes. You guys want to go after bigger sizes. These things are going to do numbers. These things will do numbers. They're already, the Jordan Lowe's already beating the freaking highs. So, yeah, the starfishes, I mean, I think people are starting to panic on these. I don't know why. If you guys haven't seen the past few releases, Taupe Hazes, UNC4s, White Oreos, I don't think people just are jumping on the on the Air Jordan 4 wave just yet. You know, they, I don't think they quite understand it. And yes, I understand these things are a different colorway, but these things are so cheap right now. They're only going for like, I think the lowest ask is around, depending on size, like what? 250 to 260s to me this is a no-brainer gonna be 300 in and even some bigger size could do better than that i mean just like i said look at all the air jordan fours that have been coming out the thing is is that they did make a lot of pairs a lot of people did end up getting w's on these things this was a definitely a super duper gr lower expectation on these things because a lot of people expect these things to go up by christmas um maybe after christmas or right around christmas they could you know christmas time they could do like like this like 300 and then after christmas go back down again and then tax season boom right up so don't be surprised uh sometime in 2022 these things are going for like now what i've been saying on my videos that also now what have i been saying in almost all my videos guys slides slide slide slides now yes i get it the price on these things went down but of everything that I've been selling or been trying to move so far this year, slides has been my number one. Slides and foam runners. I'll pull out foam runners here in a little bit. But I'm just saying slides and foam runners, they move. And I get it, they're kind of slowing down now because we're getting out of summer. So maybe that's kind of what's happening right now. But I'm just saying, I'm not sure I'll invest in these. But I'll probably just grab a couple, maybe wait till like Christmas because maybe some people actually want these things for Christmas presents or stuff like that. Or honestly, these things could really skyrocket during the summer. But then again, the one thing I always said about Yeezys, no Yeezys are safe because I'm like, my goodness, Yeezys, they've been pumping out these freaking slides like almost every freaking month of different colorways. So just like I said about the slides, I'll say with the foam runners these things freaking move um i'm telling you the minerals they've been actually been kind of going up so i can't really call this thing a brick um if you can get some pairs cheap just move them keep moving and move them but they do have potential to keep going up but then again if they restock them you know fair game uh but these things here these are actually pretty affordable these things are going less than 200 which is actually probably the cheapest 
foam runner out there and you know i get it because it's new you know to me it's like a dark sand and this is actually a pretty fire colorway it's easy to go with um these probably will be the cheapest foam runner to come out like these things won't be worth as much as like say you know the blue minerals or the sands and stuff like that so i wouldn't expect these things to do anything crazy but still these things you know Bone runners move, I'm just telling you guys. Now say what y'all want about Dunk Lots, man. I know I've been in this little journey of like trying to collect all 50, and not sure if we're gonna complete that, man. But hey, I just wanna say one thing about Dunk Lots. I do agree, yes, some colorways are gonna do better than most. Yes, some colorways. I can't exactly tell you which one. Uh, of course, you wanna talk about one in 50. I'll make a bold prediction about that in a minute. But there are going to be some good colorways that's going to do some decent numbers that going to go up a little bit. Um, some are already, already at 500. So, like, I know, like, Lot 11. Well, this is not Lot 11. This is Lot 6. Probably doing the best right now because, like like I said, this is a fantastic looking colorway. And I know a lot of people just want that simple, clean colorway. So, Lot 11 is doing pretty good. Just some of the other crappy color colorways, you know. Um, they might not move up, but still... These things have potential to do some decent numbers. And trust me, every time you go to a sneaker event, if you have these like carrying around and just holding up this box here, you're gonna get bum rush. You're gonna get attacked. You're gonna get all the resellers trying to come at you like, yo, how much you want for that? How much you want for this? Trust me, I've seen it over and over and over. Even happened to me. I just bought it and people were like, yo, how much you want for that? Like, bro, I just got it. That's all the shoes I can think about that's that's like low in price that has potential to do some good numbers that I can think of that came out so far this year. And if you guys can think of something, comment down below, maybe uh, remind me, but I'm just kind of looking around what I have and what I think what came out in the past few weeks that has potential to do some good numbers. But comment down below, you you let me know. Hey, you guys comment down below, maybe there's a shoe out there that I forgot and maybe there's a shoe that you think is potential to go. Hey, before we end today's videos, can we pour a glass for some of the fallen shoes? Like what happened? Like these are some fire freaking shoes. I get these, you know, these are not the best, but like, my goodness, these things went from 600, actually it was like 800, to 700 to 500 now i'm seeing prices at 400 dollars which is crazy to me i would have never expect these things to go down that low especially depending on size of course i think my size is about 400 and same with the travis scott six yes i get it you know it kind of got you know pushed to the side because the travis scott fragments came out and i think a lot of people forgot about the sixes and to me, this is actually a really fire colorway. This came out early this year. All the glows, it glows from, the whole sole glows from the sides and the tongue. Like, I'm just surprised these things are not doing all that crazy. I get it, it's a six, but man, these things are what, like at 400 now? Like that, these things went down. That was crazy. And these things were like at 800, 700 when they first came out. And of course, this one, wow, oof, man. I'm gonna have to make another video of like my worst investments and this is probably one of them the what the pause now okay i get it that like they still have potential to do some decent numbers and the, to eventually go up this could be like a staple shoe eventually in a few months years but man these things went from 1200 to a thousand hyped up now they're like at 600 like half the price like it's like a 50 percent decrease like i don't know what happened and probably because the prices shouldn't be so high to start off with i should have known that like usually when a shoe start off so high they just kind of go low so that was my bad but i thought this was such a fire freaking shoe and it, and it was with the piri rods and we'll see what happens man these things still have potential to do some crazy crazy numbers but time will only tell man it's just one of those things where it's like yeah, you might have to just lock these in a vault and put them away for a while. <laughs> hey, but that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Like, this is my little series that I like to do sometimes during the slow season right now. What are some good buys that could potentially do some decent numbers down the road? So right now, it is a buyer's market. So take advantage while you guys can. You know, if you guys have the capital and you guys are think these things could go up or any shoe that can go up, it's a good time to buy now and wait till they kind of go up if you guys can. But hey, like I said, this is all of my opinion, guys. I'm not a sneaker guru. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just going by past experience and what I think could potentially happen. So anyway, guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up, 
subscribe if it's your first time here, comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes I'm on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. I'm German Chris. Peace.